All right, guys, uh, this is all from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode of Nato. And today we're going to talk about DNS. But before we already start, it's going to be fast, sweet. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Now, without any delay, let's go and let's go to the Pi All. Now, I'm going to show you how I do DNS locally. Someone wrote in the description want to know how I do it and I do use multiple things but my main DNS for the local I use Pi All. As you can see here local DNS we got DNS records and we got C names. Right so I'm going to show you how I do it I'm going to delete some of them here so you can actually see it yourself. So we only got the one that comes as standard when you install by all for example now let's copy this one here now I'm running on my Proxmox so it doesn't matter if you got on a Pi Raspberry Pi or whatever uh, it works exactly the same all right so let's go back to the Pi Alert now if I go to the browser and I want to use Pi Alert to get to this page as you can see here I'm accessing this one with the IP but let's say I want to do it with the um, domain local domain in this case as you can see it cannot be accessed now don't forget you got to use the local DNS IP for Pi all and how do you do that in Windows is very simple you add to the network connections you double click on your controller you do properties and on the NS uh, I'm using IPv4 I'm going to use use the following DNS server addresses so i'm going to get the ip in this case it's going to be 218 for me again doesn't matter it's not this one here but it will be 218 here all right that is the actual address so let's go back here and the false alternative dns i'm going to put the cloudfare 111 and i'm going to press ok ok and i'm going to close it now, if I go back to the page, I'm going to refresh and it should be OK. And it goes to the Pi Alert, as you can see here. All right. Now, it's very simple. Now, let's do, for example, uh, if I go to the Kitora Local, uh, that will be 114, I think. And that will be Nginx Proxy Manager. And as you can see, we got the Nginx Proxy Manager. So I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to create a new A records, so DNS. I'm going to do, for example, Nginx, Pi Alert, as you can see here. So I'm going to use the same domain. Again, I can use a different one if I wanted to, but I'm going to map this one here, paste. I'm just going to put the IP here, 114, and I'm going to add it. Now, when I'm going to click on this one here, let me close this one here so you actually see it. And now, as you can see, it goes with the actual local domain. And this is how I do it locally. We also got the CNAME records. And here, for example, uh, let me do... So the actual associated target domain is going to be PyHole, for example. So let's go to Py, PyAlert. And here, I can actually say PyAll. That would be automatically redirected to PyAll. So now... If I do pi all, as you can see, it goes to pi all and admin. It knows exactly where to go. So this is how simple it is to do the local DNS using pi all. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial on how to do it. It's very short and sweet. If you like it, don't forget to leave a comment, a like, and I'll see you next time for a new episode.